GCC 921 Maths Foundation Tier Practice Set 3 for the Foundation Tier for the 2023 exams, for the 2023 exams, okay, in just under three minutes, okay, so let's go. This is question number 1A, solve 2 plus y equals 8, well, if I subtract 2 on both sides, do the inverse operation and balance each side respectively, I get y is equal to 8, take away 2, which is 6. So y is equal to 6, 2 plus 6 is 8. So that does confirm our answer. For part b, solve 4t equals 20, 4 times t is 20. So the opposite will be dividing both sides by 4. So divide both sides by 4 to isolate and get t by itself. t will be equal to 20 divided by 4, which is 5, guys. So t is equal to 5. Okay, well, let's write that out again. For part C, okay, solve x over 3 equals 10. Equals 10. So x divided by 3 is 10. The inverse operation of divided by 3 is to times both sides by 3. So timesing both sides by 3. So balancing each side equally, respectively. I get x is equal to 10 times 3. 10 lots of 3 or 10 lots of 3 is 30 okay 10 times 3 is 30 okay that's the answer for part c this is question number two Oops, let's write that out again this is question number two write down a one factor of 10 so the word factor means a number or numbers that go into that number cleanly with no remainder a factor of 10 would be two okay other answers that would also suffice and be correct are one five and ten okay one two five and ten are all factors of ten because they all go into the number ten cleanly with no remainders okay any other number yeah other than that from the list we're going to do it cleanly okay this is question number three a work out a quarter of 44 so write it out as a fraction of an amount so a quarter of 44 a quarter of something in maths means divide it into four equal parts or four bits Okay, 44 divided by 4. Okay, so you can half it and then half it again. Okay, half of 44 is 22, and then half of 22 is 11. Oh, let's just, I'll read that as a 2 there instead of a 4. Okay, my mistake. Okay, 4, 44 divided by 4 is 11. Okay, half of 44 is 22, and then half of 22 is 11. For part B, work out one tenth of 78. So one tenth of 78 means I'm going to do 78 divided by 10. Okay, one tenth of an amount means I divide it by 10. Okay, these are what I call fraction or fractions of an amount. You divide by the denominator and then you multiply by the numerator. But if the numerator is one, okay, or the top is one, then in, yeah, um, then just divide your number by the denominator here and leave your answer as that. Okay, 78 divided by 10, hop a decimal point in and I get 7.8. Okay, because if you're not too sure here, you've got the number 78.0. Okay, dividing it by 10, so the decimal point moves one place to the left. Okay. So it moves one place to the left, and I get 7.80, okay, or 7.8, okay, they all mean the exact same thing, okay, question number four, in a bag of coins, there are 20 coins, okay, is £2.70 altogether, there are no £1 or £2 coins, half of the coins are 10 Ps, work out one set, one possible set of coins, okay, so complete the table, Okay, so if there's 20 coins, half of them, half the coins are 10 p's. So 10 lots of 10 p, that will give me one pound. So that means the remainder, okay, will be one pound 70. Okay, so it's 100 pence or 100 pennies. Okay, 100 pence, remember, is equal to one pound. Okay. And then if I take that away from one pound, uh, two pound seventy, I get the answer of one pound seventy. Again, yeah, just obviously showing our full workings here, just so you guys are not confused yet, and obviously very clear on how to work it out. So two pound seventy subtract one pound. So what's left over? 
okay, will be £1.70. So we want to work out how many 20p coins go into £1.70. Now, this is going to be an issue here because it doesn't actually go into it cleanly, okay? Because I'm going up in 20s. Okay. I'm going to have a 10 pence remaining, okay? So, if I do £1.70, okay, divided by 20, well, so let's think, think about it here, so be careful. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, a pound, £1.20, £1.40, £1.60, £1.80, so £1.80 is too big, so I'm going to have 8 20p coins, okay, but that will give me one pound sixty remainder ten. Okay, remainder ten p. Okay, so we're gonna use yeah a bit of ingenuity here. Okay, because there are twenty coins in total. Okay, ten plus eight is gonna be eighteen. I need two more coins. Well, to make ten p, which is the remainder, I can have five p and five p. That's two more coins. Ten plus eight plus two makes twenty. So you're gonna have. So the coin will be ten p. So you're gonna have ten lots of ten p. Okay, which is one pound. Okay, then then you'll have eight lots of. Oh, sorry, a a lots of twenty p. That'll make it one pound sixty or one hundred and sixty p. Okay. And then you'll have a remainder of ten p. So then you'll have a five p coin. Okay, and you have two lots of it because the total number of coins have to add up to equal to 20. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. So that does confirm my answer. And that all adds up to £2.70. Okay, because half of the coins are 10p, half of 20 coins is 10 coins. So 10 lots of 10p coins makes £1 or 100 pennies. Take it off from £2.70, I get £1.70. One pound seventy divided by two or by twenty. Okay, you get eight twenty p coins. Remain the ten p. Okay, so twenty p into one pound seventy goes eight times. Okay, because twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a pound, one pound twenty, one pound forty, one pound sixty goes in eight times. Okay, count it on my fingers. Remain the 10 and the remaining 10p goes with the two 5p coins, okay? Because the two 5p coins makes that 10 pence coin, okay? Because two lots of five, five plus five is 10, or two times five is 10, or five times two is 10, okay? Adding that all, all up together, you get two pounds 70, okay? And that's my answer for question number four, okay? Sorry about, about going over the time, actually. Yeah, I, I, like, at the start, yeah, I didn't actually say three minutes, actually, but I apologize, yeah, but hopefully that makes sense, okay, within like a 10 minute video, okay? Thank you so much for watching, okay? If you did find this useful and informative, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, okay? And don't forget to don't forget to share, share it around here yeah, with your friends and family and students in your class and your friends in your class, okay? For anyone, yeah, doing GCC foundation tier for AQA edX or OC, okay and don't forget to turn on that bell icon okay if you found it useful and helpful okay and i will see you all inside the next video okay thank you so much for watching take care all the best with your revision and i'll see you all inside very soon okay thanks for watching okay and i'll see you very soon okay bye for now take care all the best see you soon